Hello, my name is Stephanie Gasser and I am extremely blessed and honored to be introducing you Miss Morgan Schwartz. I met Morgan three and a half years ago when we were freshmen. We lived in the same floor and we became friends. I am excited to say that as years went by, we remained great friends and now we, re now we are even better roommates. I always wondered why me and Morgan were such good friends, because we are polar opposites. But I've gotten to know her and I can see exactly why we are friends. Morgan may come off as this shy, shy girl, but she is smart, beautiful, and funny. She is a person that is inspirational and caring. And as you get to know her, you will see all these amazing qualities. In these past three and a half years, I have seen Morgan grow into this amazing person, and I cannot wait to hear what she has to say today, and I cannot wait to see what she has in store for the world. I am happy to say that Morgan is my friend, my sister, and my roommate, and I know wherever God takes her, she will do great things. Well, here's Morgan for you. <laughs> And I'd like to start by thanking everybody for coming. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, and I'm going to start with a, a short scripture from James chapter 1, verses 2 through 5 and 12. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Um, so being at Westminster the last three and a half years, um, I've faced my share of difficulties and trials and everything. And uh, some were really easy to overcome, others were much more difficult. Uh, so one of the big things that I had to deal with was making the adjustment from being in high school to being in college. And um, along with that went uh, learning how to live with somebody that I didn't know, uh, being away from home, even though I'm not that far away from home, <laughs> uh, making new friends, taking tougher classes, and many other things. Um, one of the biggest things that I, I've felt uh, a difference in was studying for classes. In high school, I never really had to study. It wasn't that hard to get passing grades. Um, I, once I got to college, I learned that it's not that easy. <laughs> I spend most of my time studying, doing homework, asking questions. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in professors' offices um, getting help. Um, and that was a huge adjustment for me to make. And at first it made me feel like I wasn't very smart. <laughs> I wasn't intelligent. I wasn't as, as smart as high school led me to believe. Um, but one of the things I've learned during all those stressful times is, you know, I could call my mom and vent to her about it. <laughs> and she would always make me feel better, say nice things, make me feel good about myself. Um, and I'm beyond grateful that she's always there for me. And, uh, I think she's a wonderful mom, and she's back there <laughs> next to Coach Sanders. <laughs> um, so, Mom, thank you for being here today and for everything that you've done for me. Um, sometimes, though, talking to my mom isn't enough. <laughs> she makes me feel good in the time, but then I sit and think, and I get stressed out all over again. Um, and it's not fair that I push all my stress onto her. <laughs> all my problems onto her. She deals with enough on her own. And I've learned that um, sometimes you just got to stick it out. You got to pray. You got to talk to God. And, and things end up working out anyways. Um, so all the different things that I've gone through, you know, I'm very fortunate that I haven't had anything extremely overwhelming. But um, prayer has always been my way of getting through those. And uh, referring back to the, the passage that I read earlier was perseverance. Um, if you push through and you stick it out, everything will work out. Um, sometimes it doesn't seem like it makes sense why God gives you things to deal with, um, why everything bad happens at once. It seems like when it rains it pours. But um, if you remember that God always has a plan for everybody and he gives you those challenges and uh, difficulties to face because they're going to make you a better person. 
uh, if you if you persevere and, and get through them. Um, I found this evident, you know, just being in my family when I call and complain to my mom. <laughs> like I said before, she deals with everything on her own, like all of her personal um, hardships. But uh, if you take a step back and you really focus on on why you're facing these things, that um, everything's going to work work out. And prayer for me has been that that um, connection, I guess. Um, so sometimes you don't get a clear answer as to why something's happening to you, but talking to God and not giving up uh, helps get you through it. Uh, one of the big things that I've faced in the last in all my time here at Westminster uh, was specifically last season for cross country. Um, I had just run one of the best races of my life at Oberlin. <laughs> I finally broke 25 minutes for a 6K, and I was so excited, and I was doing so good, and I was really excited to, you know, run at the conference meet and help my team reach our goals. And a week before the meet, <laughs> I was at practice, and I sprained my ankle, and I thought the world was over. <laughs> I thought my season was done, and you know, I thought I broke my ankle, and I was never going to run again, and it was awful. Um, but I didn't want to end my season like that, and that was not okay with me. <laughs> so um, I didn't want to let my team down. I didn't want to let coach down. So I, uh, <clears throat> I had to persevere and, and work through it. I was mad, angry, frustrated, upset. I didn't understand why that had to happen to me. I mean, it was my senior year, the most important part of the season. Like, why me? <laughs> but um, I remembered I wanted to be there for my team, and I was going to do whatever I could to be there and run with them. Um, so I remember sitting in my room that night after I had sprained my ankle and I was studying for my math test and I took a break and I prayed and I said I needed help to get through this. I needed to be able to run. I needed to do something. I, I couldn't finish like that. So that week I spent hours and hours and hours in the training room, you know, doing some rehab and getting everything you know, the swelling down and everything so I could walk. And uh, by Wednesday, I got to jog a lap on the track, <laughs> which is really exciting. Um, and then by Friday, I was able to run um, our morning practice with the team, and I was able to finish out the season uh, running, and I was very thankful for that. But I wouldn't have been able to make it through that if I wouldn't have pushed through the pain and the tears and the anger and all of that, and uh, praying. <laughs> did a lot of praying um, and I, I wouldn't have been able to do that without, without all of that and without my teammates and my family and Coach McNeil and Coach Sanders. <clears throat> so um, that was another big moment that taught me you have to persevere. You have to push through it and, and things will work out. So I mean I could continue and go on about all, all the trials that I've faced and all the stressful things that I've gone through. <clears throat> but that's not what's important. Um, mostly what I want to share with you today is what I've learned about myself during my time just at Westminster. And um, one of the most important things that I've learned is prayer, determination, and perseverance can help you get through any difficult time that you're faced with. And if you can make it through the hard times, um, you'll be rewarded by God and you'll realize how strong of a person you are. And um, I've learned that I'm a better person than I ever thought I was. And I know I still have a lot to learn. I have a lot of life left. <laughs> but I know God's always on my side if, if I let him be. And um, I learned that I can pray. And anytime I feel overwhelmed, uh, God's always there. And if I can push myself to get through it, I'll get through it. So, thank you.